Hi, I'm Jody Shuffles. I am a senior undergraduate at Stanford University, and I work in the Camarillo Lab studying mild traumatic brain injury. So um, our work right now is focusing on the role that the cervical spine ligaments play in stabilizing the head and neck system. So although there have been many computational models um, looking at the spine and the head, um, no model so far has taken into account both the muscles in the neck and also the cervical ligaments. So what we did is we created a model that um, models each um, bot, vertebrae as a rigid body model. Um, there are 17 degrees of freedom, so we're taking into account both uh, rotational degrees of freedom and linear. Um, and we created 16 ligament groups mo modeled as linear spring dampers. And um, we looked at the muscles also modeled as classic hill type muscle groups. So um, what we did is applied loads in two different directions to cause lateral flexion and extension. So this extension where the head is snapping backwards, um, and this is lateral flexion. And we validated the model against real experimental data using human subjects, obviously with loads that are considered you know, safe to a human subject. Um, and the model was well validated. It appeared to track pretty closely, as you can see here, especially with extension. Um, the model behaves very, very much how we would expect. Um, and pretty well also with lateral flexion, although it overpredicts slightly the angular velocity. Um, and what we did next was test the effects of removing certain ligaments and see how the head and neck um, destabilization would be affected. And what we found is that um, the ligament, let's see, right here in the front, the anterior longitudinal ligament um, provides the most stabilization in, um, in loads causing extension, which makes sense sort of geometrically. And the segment that caused the most destabilization when removed uh, was the C3 segment. So that's a pretty high on the neck um, right here. Um, and removing the ligament in the computational model is how we're, um, how we're simulating like a ligament injury. So we're looking at when a certain ligament is injured, how, how much extra risk are you um, is, a, is a patient at, perhaps, um, for brain injury, essentially. So that's what we found in the extension direction. And then in the lateral flexion direction, we looked at the intertransverse ligaments. So these are small ligaments that connect the vertebrae at each, at each level here. And in that direction, interestingly, we did not see significant destabilization. So it looks like intertransverse is not the most important ligament in the lateral flexion direction. Um, so for that case, we need to do some, some further research and look at maybe um, the ligaments of flava or some other ligaments that might be contributing to stabilization there. So, yeah, thanks. Thank you.